He was just 14 years old. Keontae Stidemeyer was shot and killed this week in East St. Louis. Tonight, family and friends gathered to remember him. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Morgan Young. Family members say he was outside with friends when the gunfire started. Five Under Signs' Robert Townsend reports from East St. Louis. Nearly two weeks ago, 14-year-old Keontae Stidemeyer graduated from eighth grade at Lincoln Middle School in East St. Louis and made his family extremely proud. His loved ones affectionately called their shining star, Keon. And he was a good kid. You know, he loves playing sports, going to school, you know, being with the family. Keon was excited about celebrating his 15th birthday next month and going to Eastside High in the fall. But now his dreams cut short. It's devastating. It's, it's beyond heartbreaking. His family cannot believe they're preparing the teen's funeral. It's devastating. The whole family is crushed. It was so unexpected. He was just a kid. A kid relatives say was having fun, popping fireworks with his big brother and some friends outside the John DeShields housing complex Tuesday night. The boy's family says within moments, someone fired multiple bullets. Keon suffered a gunshot wound and instantly died. Police say a three-year-old girl and a 16-year-old boy were also shot and rushed to a hospital. Keon, his mom, and his six siblings lived in the neighborhood for years. It's ridiculous. It's madness. It's sad that they should have to live like this. Friday night, dozens of family members and friends lit candles and released balloons in memory of their young and innocent loved one who died too soon. I pray whoever did have the conscience to come forward. We just want to know why. We don't deserve this. His mom don't deserve this. Everybody loved them. Robert Townsend, five of your side. Illinois State Police are still looking for the shooter. Five Under Side is committed to telling the stories of kids in our area who've been lost to gun violence. We started an initiative called Cut Short, and we will continue to follow the investigations and help to find solutions for this violence. You can learn more at ksdk.com slash cut short.